Hey everybody, it's me, Sean. Welcome to a brand new Let's Play series, Oriental Empires. Pretty excited to be playing this. It uh, has uh, just released, I believe, in the full release. A um, little unclear, like the information that I read said it was a full release, but if you go to the Steam page, it still says Early Access. So I don't know if they just haven't updated that or not. It doesn't really matter. I've gotten a key to it. Stop, I don't need to see the credits. I've gotten a key to it, and uh, we're going to give it a try. Now, I played maybe for about a half hour, just to kind of get a basic idea of what was going on. Um, but uh, I don't think I'm going to be good enough to play on a higher difficulty, so we may as well play on the lower difficulty um, uh, together. I think I am going to bump it up one difficulty. Uh, so uh, we're going to play their grand campaign. Now, one thing I like about... I mean, I haven't tried it yet, but one thing that looks interesting about this game is you can actually do randomized maps. Uh, there's only like four different map styles, so it's not like, you know... Although, in Civilization, I only use like four different map styles there, too. But uh, you can do randomized maps. You can uh, change their size, which is pretty exciting. Um, I don't really know what all this means, but I assume it would be more clear uh, the more you play. Of course, you can do randomized seeds. That's weird. Uh, and you can type them in, too. Uh, but we're not going to do that. Maybe if, uh, if you guys like watching this, maybe we'll do another campaign later on where we do uh, try that out. Uh, but for now, we're going to play the Grand Campaign, which is kind of a tutorial campaign as well. Um, uh, there's, uh, it looks like you start with five different uh, potential guys, and then there's a bunch that are locked up. I assume you have to, um, you know, uh, oh, play 120 turns to unlock. Okay, well, those are all pretty easy to unlock. So you just got to play the game for a while to unlock the more advanced, um, more advanced guys. Aha, uh -huh. and so this shows like their general starting region over on the side there. Very nice. Um, increase peasant happiness by 10% and 20% crossbows. Reduce combat effectiveness by 10%. Wow. These guys seem pretty good. The Han. Increase virtue of all new characters. Chariots at 20% kill chance and tiger guards. Power development rate increased. So power development is one of the research things. Culture development increased by 20%. Noble happiness by 10%. Reduced combat effectiveness by 10%. I think the shoe was the one that I thought was interesting. Craft development increased by 20. Thought development reduced by 20. Value of trade increased by 15. I don't know. It looked like the Han kind of had the best mix. So let's go ahead and try the Han. I'm going to go ahead and bump it up to hard difficulty. I don't think I can handle very hard yet. We should be able to do all right on hard. And if not, you know, whatever. It's not like... Uh, uh, yeah. So um, here we kind of have the tutorial. I've already worked through. I played about seven or eight turns. Uh, but uh, that just kind of tells you to, uh, to use your settler to settle the area. Uh, so we can see can't see the map because it's all covered by fog of war but you can see there's a lot of map oh my gosh that is a lot of map uh so there's a lot to see we are kind of it looks like we're fairly well centered in the map um and uh there's different little resources we'll be able to see these as we get in here so this is uh oh and Counter opportunity a particularly beautiful girl is rumored to live here she might be suitable for a royal concubine Interesting, I hadn't seen that yet. So there's several encounter opportunities around here. Uh, rich merchant, um, we have a uh, notable statesman. Up here is where we have a resource, there we go. So we have fish up here, which will uh, increase the food supply. And over here we have wine, um, mulberry, which will increase uh, silk. Um, Looks like that's it for resources around here. So I guess we'll probably want to work our way up towards this fish resource. What is this? Um, uh, that looks like that's not really anything, just, you know, like a native hut or something like that. Uh, so we start with a couple of uh, unit groups. Um, this one is a uh, bodyguard, which seems to be like their general kind of generic unit, or maybe that's a general unit. Um... And then over here we have, oh, we have a uh, settler. I guess it doesn't start with a bodyguard, which is interesting because the 
uh, other one it did, so maybe that was a bonus to that civilization or something. Uh, but I think we're pretty safe to move the settler without a bodyguard. Um, maybe if we settle here, I, I kind of like to settle on the other side of the river. Can can I move the? Uh, can I move there? So this is a this is a turn-based game. Um, it does not look like I can move. Oh, can you not? You can't move through the forest. So can I can I cross the river? No. Huh. Doesn't really show how it's going to get to there. Oh, it just shows that it can't get to there. Got it. All right. Well, I definitely want to get that fish. Seems like that's really close to my starting spot. I might save that for like maybe my second city. The problem is, is now I'm going to have to go over here into the unknown and who knows what kind of stuff we might find over there. Or I could try to go over here and grab up these mulberry bushes. I might do that instead. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can I? Okay, I can move to there. You know what? Let's go ahead and go with that. So we're going to stick with that for that first move. And then we'll send this guy. We'll send them over here to scout out these uh, merchants and stuff. So let's see. This was a, uh, a merchant. And this is a statesman. Let's try to grab that statesman up. Um, and then if we go look at our city, so uh, at the beginning here we just have farms, we can't even cut down trees, we can't build roads, and we can't build any buildings yet. Oh, nope, that's not true, we can build a building, we could build a pavilion. Uh, okay, so that I assume would be good for um, like happiness of lords and ladies, it seems like. Um, but, uh, let's go ahead and start with the farm. Um, and, uh, I don't know if there's any bonuses or anything, so we'll just throw a couple of farms down here. Um, and that shows how many turns, so this will take two turns, then that'll take two turns after that. Uh, if we go into the city, we can see the different buildings that we can build. There's what we already have constructed, so we could, uh, we could improve our palace, which would give us those things. Um, we can build a uh, bowyer, which would allow us to build bow units. Um, I don't know how quickly we're going to get into combat. Um, uh, we don't have the ability to trade yet because we haven't met up with anybody, so no point in that. I think I'm going to go with a granary, uh, store food to feed the population for up to two turns. Kind of hard to imagine a granary being a bad decision, so we're going to build that here at the start. I'm going to close that down. We can also recruit. Um, the game recommends that you recruit a settler right off at the start. So we're going to go ahead and recruit a settler. And uh, then if we look, uh, so there's the diplomacy tab. We don't have any contacts yet, so there's no point in diplomacy. Uh, technology. So technology is broken down into four categories. There's power, craft, thought, and knowledge. And there's our 20% bonus towards power. And you can research all four at once. Uh, I'm not really sure... I haven't quite gotten the the hang of how uh, technology is generated or culture stuff is generated. Uh, I'm sure that'll make sense later on. Um, this increases authority by one. So I believe authority is what allows you to build extra cities. So I think we're going to want to go ahead and do that so we can get extra cities. Uh, over here in the craft menu, um, we've got that thing where we're going to get silk, right? So we probably want to get that to get the silk weaver. Although, uh, increase culture by one, if culture is what gives us, I'm just not quite sure. Um, hmm. uh, this increases culture by one, increase value of bronze trade by 30%. Enables foundry and clear forests, that's probably good. Uh, enables pottery workshop. Well, let's go with the uh, silk weaver for now. Since we're heading that one thing over there to do that. Oh, I guess I've already selected that. Uh, over here in Thought, increase culture by one, increase culture by one. All right, well, these are all pretty pretty much the same, except for this one that increases authority by one. Um, can I see? Oh, I can see what the additional ones do, too. Oh, this would increase authority by two. Interesting. And then increase authority by one. Okay, so let's go with this one, because it opens up a more powerful technology next. And finally, Knowledge. Um... We could get horseback. Oh, okay, that just gives us authority by one. Um, archers, authority by one. And then this means that I need to have uh, the 
um, uh, looks like uh, yin yang, yin and yang, uh, to be able to open up, uh, open up uh, whatever comes down below this. Um, calendar increases authority by one. Noble archers. So we're already increasing authority. Let's go ahead and get those archers as well. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. <clears throat> um, we have this available edict, edict which would uh, add a general character, but we'd lose an authority. Uh, so I don't really want to issue that edict yet. I think we need to keep our authority at this point. We can take a look at our uh, income and expenses. Uh, I don't really think we need to look at that quite yet. Um, player info, victory conditions, all that stuff. Not really that important right now. And uh, this, I believe, is uh, similar. It's uh, how many victory points and all that stuff we have, which is not uh, not much point in looking at those things right now. So um, we have got we've got our people working. We've got construction undergoing. We've got units being built, and we have our units told to move. So I think we can go ahead and end our turn. Uh, this is a turn-based game, <clears throat> and uh, the combat is not like uh, real time it's like turn-based combat you kind of set up strategies for it and stuff um and um yeah i haven't gotten into any combat yet so i'm you know we'll learn about that together uh so both of our units are moving i don't think anything has changed this turn we should be able to just continue from where we were uh we've got uh so the settlers should be under construction, but I don't see like how many turns it's going to take or anything like that. So I'm not quite sure how I would find that information out. Um, hmm. But you can see here we're we're building up the construction on that one, anyways. All right. I think we can go ahead and just go to the next turn at this point. Oh, there we go. All right, looks like these guys have found their encounter spot. Now, oh, scrolls really fast. All right, um, special commands, disband unit, sleep, auto explore. Yeah, I don't need any of those. Set battle plans. Oh, okay. So I guess, well, well, we'll learn more about that when uh, battle plans become relevant. I might study that a little bit in between episodes. Uh, set facing. All right, well, I mostly just want to initiate this encounter. Ah, there it is, encounter. <clears throat> uh-huh. My lord, I'd be honored to join your service and provide advice on how best to rule. Um... Pay 408, improve power advancement rate by 12%. So do I have to pay 408 by per turn? Because I definitely can't afford that. I'm going to decline for now, and he's going to stay there. Great. Okay, so I don't need to worry about him like disappearing on us or anything. All right, let's continue exploring. You can change the direction of the stack face after its movement by using the change facing button underneath the unit tiles. Okay, that's cool. It kind of seems self-explanatory. Um, looks like we have to cross a river at the start of a turn. Um, we've got one of our farms built. That's good. Um, we have our construction underway and uh, still doesn't really seem like we're doing much on the production of our um, Oh, hey, there's my desktop again. I guess you got to be very careful not to uh, click outside the click outside the window. Not that this is a window; this is a full screen, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's uh, let's see. Watch our our known world expand a little bit. Maybe there we go. All right, so we did find some resources over here. We have wild game. So that'll add food. We've got another uh, encounter opportunity, a noted historian. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's check out this historian. Looks like there's a road here as well. I don't know if you move faster on a road. Uh, we should still be working on our farms here in Zhang. 
almost done with our granary. Um, how are we doing on uh, research? Oh yeah, we got plenty of time on all those things. Okay, go ahead and uh, end our turn again. Looks like those guys have crossed the river, so they're going to be in our new uh, our new uh, location. These guys have uh, uh, these guys have run into their encounter. My lord, I've spent many years studying the lives of the kings of Yor, noting their achievements and failures. So they want 252, and they would increase my virtue by two. Well, since they don't disappear, I'm going to go ahead and wait on that as well. Uh, this one is a notable bandit leader. All right. Well, I don't think I'm going to go mess around with him. Um, but I do want to continue exploring. So I think I'm going to explore up this away. Let's do that. And our other unit here. There we are. Um, oh, there's a uh, bandit camp. Yikes. Do I want to... Well, let's... Uh, Let's set up our new city, and we'll see if bandits are going to harm it or not. You can farm a settlement here. You cannot farm a settlement here. You cannot settle next to rivers, coast, mountains, or steep hills. Okay. Uh, well, that's good to know. And I got these bandits over here causing me trouble. Well, how am I supposed to take advantage of the, uh, I want to take advantage of that stuff. I'm not going to be able to cut through those woods either, am I? Strange that you can't, I mean, I guess it shows you everywhere that you can set up a settlement. Strange that you can't build next to a river, though. Um, all right, well, I guess I'll go back to here. And uh, here in Zhang, um, looks like we need to be building some more farms, right? Or, or do I need to leave? Let's leave them idle and see if we get any work done on that settler. Because um, there doesn't seem to be getting any work done on the settler. So I wonder if you can only build like one thing at a time or something. All right, let's see. Nope, still no work getting done on our settler. Why is that? That's strange. Population growth. Population details. Unrest. Food details. Consumption. Yeah, production. Great. Sure. Finance. Hmm. I don't know. Labor? Population. Peasants. Growth. Food surplus overcrowding. Labor. Farming. All right. Well, that is weird. Can't disband my capital. Well, that's good news. Uh, all right, let's. Uh, we've built our granary. Um. Yep. Okay. Uh. So I guess we want to build another. Now, what does the pavilion do? No suitable sites. Okay. It's strange that you give me the option to build it then. Uh, all right, I'm going to leave. I'm just going to not build anything, and we'll see if maybe that will help build our um, settler. Otherwise, I don't know what to do. Have we reached the edge of the map? Why won't it... Uh... Oh, because I'm still in the city view, that's why. There we go. All right, what do we have over here? It looks like we have some swamps. And we have a famous teacher... Well, that would be something that I wouldn't mind um, 
wouldn't mind taking advantage of. Kind of a drag that I'm going to have to use up my whole move just to do that, but... Alright, and you, you're still moving, right? Okay. And this will still be able to take advantage of the, uh, of the uh, mulberry bush. Oh, there's a spot that I could build the city over there, too. But... Three... Okay, so there's only going to be a little bit of overlap here. I'll take it. Um, I think that's everything. We haven't discovered any of our science yet. We're pretty close on, on uh, military drill, though. Okay, so we're going to be able to found our new city. Let's take care of that right away. Um, found settlement. Yi Yang. Unwalled settlements have four entrances that must be defended. To successfully defend one from attack, you'll need as many defenders as our attackers. All right. Uh, maybe I should move this army. Oh. Oh, I already built the settler. Okay. Uh, interesting. Um, special commands. Set battle plan. Set formation. Special commands. Disband. I don't want to do that. Sleep. No, thank you. Auto explore. No. I kind of just want to make you into your own unit. So can I send you over here? And can I send you... Like up to here? Looks like I can. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and claim that spot since I wasted a lot of time with the other guys already. Um, and uh, we have this encounter. Be, am I honored to teach you the wisdom of the ancients? So this would give us more virtue and it only costs 141. You know what? We're going to go ahead and accept this guy. Yes, that'll put us into negative spending, potentially. Uh, or maybe it doesn't work that way. Maybe I just had to spend the 141 up front. So new items unlocked. Peasant Long Spearman. Great. Um, so next up we could do increase farm food production by 5%. Reduce flood effects by 50%. Rammed Earth Wall. Barracks. Go ahead and go with the earthen wall. Oh, I guess I don't need to do anything else. All right, great. And our our capital city is producing nothing. All right, so market wouldn't do us any good yet because we haven't met any neighbors. Let's go ahead and go with the bow boy bow boyer bowyer. Do it. Close that down. Um, and, uh, what, what was our, so is that the peasant light spearman that we've already built? Did we build that last turn? And I can't build another one because I don't have the population for it or something, maybe? Does it show me where my recruitment pool would be? No, might be worth looking. Oh, wait. Next in seven turns? All right, so at least I can... I know how long it's going to take me to get more recruitment. But I can't really get the details on how that works. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, build some additional farms then. Can I construct more farms and you have population? Um, sure, of course I can't. Um, and over here in Yi Yang... We've not built any farms yet. There we go. Um, are you building any buildings? No? How about we get you a granary as well? Very good. And uh, I suppose you could probably draft. Nope, no recruitment available here. All right. Um, let's go ahead and end our turn. I think we're in a good spot for that. So, oh, I got to give these guys some instructions. There's a uh, wild game. Still haven't found any any neighbors yet. 
But I guess we're going to have to wait until tomorrow to see if we're going to find any neighbors. Um, I hope you guys, uh, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this game so far. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Um, uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how you guys like it. Let me know uh, if you uh, uh, want to continue watching this, and uh, uh, of course, I'll just look at the numbers and stuff to get an idea of that as well. Uh, but hopefully, you guys are enjoying this. This seems like a pretty fun game. Um, Definitely the kind of game that I would be playing a lot of uh, before I started doing this channel. Um, but I don't really have so much time to play games for fun anymore. But that's not really relevant. Uh, thank you so much. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope you'll check out some of the other videos. And um, uh, think about subscribing. Uh, if you uh, are used to watching my channel, maybe click the like button and leave me a comment down below. I always love to hear what you guys think. And I will see you again next time. Bye!